the Gravity Guiding System Back Care Program. A whole new angle on staying fit. Welcome to the Gravity Guiding System Back Care Program. Today, my guests and I will discuss something of interest to most everyone, back pain and the revolutionary developments made in the field of back pain relief and prevention that you can utilize in your own home. You see, a major cause of common backache and many other physical disorders is the constant compressive and unidirectional force of gravity. The problem is then compounded when you consider the additional stress created by your occupational and recreational activities. For example, let's say you lead an active lifestyle, both working hard and playing hard. Is it any wonder that you'll suffer occasional back trouble, especially if you're regularly involved in recreational sports? You see, most sports are great for the heart, but they're torture for the back. The effects of the pounding your muscles and joints take cause additional problems. Weak knees or stiff joints in the hips and shoulders. This often makes sports like tennis, golf, and jogging more painful than they are fun. And as we grow older, it becomes increasingly difficult for the body to resist the effects of gravity. So, what we have today are over 8 million Americans in bed with back problems and millions more who suffer continuous or intermittent distress. In the past, healthcare professionals have experimented with surgery, braces, and weights in an attempt to correct these problems. Unfortunately, these methods are time consuming, very expensive, and most disappointingly, they don't always work. With a whole new angle on this subject will be my first guest today, Robert M. Martin, Sr., M.D., orthopedic specialist, author, and lecturer. Based on 50 years of research, Dr. Martin's program of back care revolutionized the way hospitals, physicians, and sports teams treat back problems. This back care program is also designed to be used in your own home. It's called the Gravity Guiding System. He's written a book by the same title, based on principles that are basic, yet medically advanced and sound. This system makes pain relief possible, safely, comfortably, and effectively. After talking with the doctor, we'll demonstrate the unique gravity guiding system equipment and exercises with another member of the gravity guiding system team, Robert Bob Martin, MD. He'll explain how most anyone can use the force of gravity to stretch muscles and decompress the spine as an aid to restore and maintain a healthy body. In a moment, we will meet these fascinating gentlemen, but first I would like to introduce to you my co-hostess and product update reporter, Jane Jasper. Thank you, Dennis. In our product report, we will provide you with an update on all the latest products from Gravity Guidance Incorporated. First, we will take a look at the now famous Gravity Guiding Inversion Boots. Many people were first introduced to inversion exercise, otherwise known as exercising upside down, in the film American Gigolo, while others, I'm sure, have seen demonstrations on a variety of television shows. Then we're going to take a close look at the most recently developed gravity guider, the 1100 series, a unique piece of equipment designed so you can take full advantage of gravity-assisted exercises. Finally, we'll demonstrate the Professional Gravity Guider, a multi-purpose exercise unit for your back and the rest of your body. Dr. Robert Martin will then demonstrate a wide variety of exercises that you will be able to do without anyone's assistance on each of these exercise units. Thank you, Jane. And now, please welcome Robert M. Martin, Sr., MD. Dr. Martin, glad you're here. Tell me, you have studied back problems now for, what, 50 years? That's right. Yes. Okay. And you've written the book that, on back pain relief called The Gravity Guiding System. Yes, sir. In this book, you identify the compressive effects of gravity as being a major cause of several types of back aches. And yet, at the same time, you also cite the effect of gravity as the key to back pain relief. This seems like kind of a paradox. Could you explain this to our viewers? Yes. <clears throat> it's the lack of the proper use of postures that allows gravity to affect the body in a pathological manner. By using the different postures, we can change the stress vectors of gravity to where they do not continually create an attritional effect upon the body. What, okay, what are these postures? 
Obviously, sitting is one posture. Well, we have six basic postures. Three common postures, which are the erect posture of sitting and standing, and the flex posture of getting closer to see, reach, smell, bending over forward, getting closer to these different things that we have to do. <clears throat> and then we have the posture of horizontal, which we take for about eight hours every day. When we're sleeping. That's right. Then the uncommon postures that are corrective to these postures is the inverted posture, which is opposite to the erect posture, and the posture of extension, which is bending backwards, correcting that which we create when we bend forward all day long over mm -hmm. punch presses and adding machines and typewriters and books and things like that. And then the third posture is brachiation, as I call it. There really isn't such a word. I had to coin the word but hanging by the arms and hanging by the limbs or hanging by any uh, our, um, extension of the body, you might say. In doing this, we're creating a long uh, pull through the long axis of the body, which straightens us and creates our figure to be longer and more postured as it should be. One thing I've noticed, too, is that children hang by anything they can. They'll hang from jungle gyms or tree limbs, whatever. Do you think there might be something innate in children that causes them to uh, do this, uh, since it is, you know, healthful for the spine, something that causes them to do this during this particularly developmental stage of the body's bones? Well, yes. The um, child is very close to nature. And uh, you will see children, um, rather than sitting in chairs, they'll go over the back of the chair and hang upside right. down, you right. might say. You'll find children up to five years of age that will be sleeping in the knee chest position. These all have physiological effects that are very beneficial to the child. But as we get older and become more sophisticated in using our neckties and our, have to keep our skirts down and our dresses just so, we uh, get away from these uh, innate intellectual factors that we should be practicing. All right. We have to break away now to go to our consumer update report, or product update report. But we'll come back and we'll talk some more after we show what the gravity guiding system looks like in action, all right? Thank you, sir. Okay. Jane, take it away. Thank you, Dennis. In our update report, I would first like to take a close look at the inversion boots. And with the assistance of Joe, we'll demonstrate some of the exercises you can easily perform from a doorway bar, as well as any one of the other gravity guiding system equipment. The inversion boots are made of a lightweight steel with a foam rubber lining. And this U-shaped steel hook is riveted to the steel shell for safety. A hinge on the outside of the boot closes and secures the boot around the ankle. One very nice feature of this boot is that except for very small children, one size fits all. Now make sure that the boot fits very snug. Now if you need additional padding, more foam is supplied with each boot. Make sure that the latches are on the outside and that the U-shaped hook is pointing up towards your knees. So all we need now is a gravity guiding inversion bar. Thank you. The inversion bar fits most doorways. And once these latches are secured, you can easily remove the bar when you are done exercising to install it is that simple. The bar has been tested to withstand the weight of the human body. The mounting rope, thank you, Joe. The mounting rope is also easily installed. So we're all set. Let's go, Joe. Joe is going to show us how to mount the bar. Now, for those of us who may not be able to swing our feet up to the bar, there is a very easy method to help us out. With the loop end made large enough to fit over the toe end of your shoe, tie the other end of the rope to the overhead bar and adjust its length so that it hangs in a position where you can easily step into the loop. Place one foot in the loop and then grab the bar with both your hands and up you go. Pull up with your arms until the boot of the other leg is hooked on to the inversion bar. Then hook the looped foot onto the bar. Now make sure that you do not remove the loop because you will later want to use this when dismounting. Let go of the bar with your hands and if you prefer, 
you can slowly let yourself down with the rope. Very good. Now for those of you who are in good shape, you can also mount the bar freeform. Which Joe does very easily. Well, Joe's all set to exercise. So now I would like to introduce Dr. Robert Martin. Thank you, Jane. Hello, Doctor. We're all ready to go. Okay, very good. Joe is going is right now in a state of decompression. He's hanging free and he's going to be doing some decompression exercises. First, Joe, let's do some sit-ups. That's it. Good, good for the low back and for the abdominal muscles. All right, let's do some rotations. Hands behind the head and just rotate the body. That's it. Okay, now let's do some squats. Those squats, we push out away from the door frame and straighten our arms and squat. Very good. Okay. Do even young, athletic, injury-free people need to follow the gravity guiding system? Well, that is a good question. Uh, the real situation is, is that everybody needs this because nobody's immune to gravity. And with this, uh, the process of conditioning is necessary to develop along the lines of reversing what we create in our system that we're in, which is gravitational pull. And by utilizing the technique, we alter. For Newton's law states, for every action there is an opposite reaction, so we utilize this for the same purpose. Uh, it's, uh, it's just a means of a totally different program of conditioning along the lines of correction. So this applies to you no matter what age you are? Absolutely. What sports would benefit by doing these exercises? Would running? Any sport has contact with the surface of the ground because we're continually pounding ourselves into the surface and this is a means to alter it. And this will correct what we create from this technique. Uh, anything, jogging, tennis, golf, uh, any sport that has contact will, will be beneficial. You know what I've really been wondering, how long and how often should one remain in an inverted position? That is the most asked question that I come across. And the answer is very simple. As long as you're comfortable, there is no time limit. It's up to you and you get out what you put into it. And of course, you must maintain your comfort. If you're not comfortable, then it's time to come down. Uh, it's a conditioning process which, which is based on time. I see. Well, thank you, Dr. Martin. Surely, thank you. And now, viewers, I have some important information. Gravity guiding inversion boots. They're designed for back pain, relief, and sports conditioning. Exercise program decreases fatigue by stretching muscles, taking weight off the spinal column, and it aids circulatory systems. And now Dennis will demonstrate the 1100 series gravity guider with Dr. Martin. This is the 1100 series gravity guider, a very versatile multi-exercise device with which many body areas can be isolated and worked on. It occupies relatively little space and can be erected in any ordinary sized room without need for extra mounting devices. And most importantly, it has an oscillation bed that opens up a wide variety of exercise capability, which Dr. Martin will tell us all about in just a moment. The oscillation bed of this 1100 series gravity guider is made of high density, durable plastics molded to the shape of the back for comfortable use. Getting into an inverted position is easy because the oscillation bed is so light and the bed adjusts to anyone's weight and height. Well, Dr. Martin, what can you tell us about the oscillation bed that is in addition to the back care program that you don't have with the inversion bar and, and boot setup? Well, in one oscillation, you can compress and decompress the body at the same time, in which is very advantageous because of the fact that as you compress to alterate, you must decompress. And if you do this over a, a period of time, like uh, five or six times, you massaging and the structures in the body that are, uh, that are compressed. So it's, it's, it's extremely important uh, helping to pre um, treat the uh, problem as well. Penny, would you uh, mount the Now she mounts the equipment as she's going to go off. She stands on the top crossbar and she mounts it in a proper manner. And the adjust mechanism is here at the foot and it moves up and down. 
uh, as she lays there with her hands to her side, her head is up anywhere from 30 to 45 degrees, which is adequate, and the center of gravity is going through her pelvis. Now, when she puts her hands over her head, she will invert, and she'll move the rhythm of her arms, and the faster she moves her arms, the greater the depth that she obtains. And she can go back and forth in this manner in the oscillation. Now, she can also stay by going all the way back, and she will arch, and now she's free to hang. As she's hanging there, she can also mobilize by doing sit-ups. And she'll do sit-ups. And then when she, she comes down, she'll rest for a second. And now she'll put her hands behind her head and rotate her pelvis. And this is lateral motion. This is very good for the lower back. She'll also grab onto the unit and arch out an extension, which is also excellent for the lower back. Now, is it important to do exercises in an inverted position, or is it enough just to be inverted? Well, you should, you should really mobilize. I never recommend just, just to be inverted. Always to mobilize. Does now, that Penny, if you grab onto the crossbar and stretch further. Uh, it, it, it develops where the dynamics is so much greater by t types of motion that it helps to separate at greater levels. And it prevents the spasms from occurring. You can put someone up there and just hang freely, and they may go into spasm. If they're, if they're acute case, which is uh, not the ordinary individual who's probably doing this for a preventive measure, but for individuals I work with, I always like to mobilize them, and then they can hang free. Mm -hmm. Okay, Penny, now you can come up. She puts her body against the apparatus, and she comes right up by putting her arms to her side. Okay, you can dismount. And Thank it's you, very Penny. simple to come off. Now, are these exercises very difficult to do, would you say, or can just about anyone do them? Just about anybody can do them. Uh, I uh, have people that are in their 80s and, a, and older doing this, and there's, there's no problems. Uh, you have to be aware of certain things like hypertension and things like this, but this is, uh, uh, these are medical problems, and these patients should be directed towards their physicians. But for conditioning, basic conditioning, it's uh, for the average individual. There's no problem at all. Thank you, Dr. Martin. And now here are a few important points to remember. The 1100 series gravity guider. Simple setup, easy mounting, adjusts for weight and height. The simple raising and lowering of your arms controls movement of the oscillation bed. Combines oscillation and inversion traction exercise programs. And now, Jane is going to take us through a demonstration of the professional gravity guider. Jane? This is the professional gravity guider, and like the 1100 series gravity guider, it allows you to do both oscillation and inversion exercises, plus a complete range of strength developing exercises not found on the other equipment. Dr. Martin, with the assistance of Dr. Brainerd, will demonstrate some of these exercises. Dr. Martin? Thank you, Jane. Dr. Brainerd, would you please mount the equipment? This equipment has a number of features in which the doorway bar and the 1100 series are incorporated. The system here has an adjustment mechanism for the feet and which is adjustable here for the ankles. So that it has a nice fit snug fitting. The other apparatus on the bottom is utilized to find the center of gravity for the body in which the body, the head is slightly up, the feet are slightly down with the hands at, at his side. Now as he moves his hands over his head, he will invert, and he will invert in that manner. He moves his arms, and he has a continual motion, goes with the rhythm, and the faster he moves his arms, the greater depth he gets to the equipment. Now he can also do extension in that manner, and that's very good. Okay. Now he'll come off the equipment, and he'll mount the, the equipment as he gets off the same manner stepping on the top crossbar. Now the, the equipment will be pulled off. That looks very lightweight. It is. It's very lightweight and it's very movable. Now he will go up on the bar. Okay, now he'll mount and he'll do his, ex his exercises in a decompressed state. What are some of the uh, inversion exercises? He'll do a setup in this manner. And this is for abdominal as well as for the back. He will also do rotations. 
He'll put his hands behind his head and rotate his pelvis. Also very good for the lower back. And he'll also do squats. And doing squats, he'll push himself away from the apparatus and squat just like on the ground, inverted. He'll also grab onto the mechanism at the, his head and extend and flex in one motion. Very good for motion. Okay, very good. Now he will dismount. The apparatus is attached to the ceiling and to the floor by compression. It just pushes and it has a screw on the top in which it is adjustable. And it goes from an eight to a 11 foot ceiling. Very good. Now we have... What are those bars for? We have a continuing program here for the arms and legs in which he will attach the mechanism that he used before to assist him in his arm, upper arm area for exercising. Mm -hmm. He'll be able to do chinning and you adjust the cord here as to the height as a cable. Okay, and he will do dips with his arms. So this means that anybody can do these things as long as they adjust the mechanism to their capacity. He will also do knee exercises and hips. Well, thank you, Dr. Martin. Thank you, Jean. And now I would like to give you some important tips. Professional Gravity Guider. It includes all of the gravity guiding system exercises for your back and the rest of your body. The multiple exercise stations allow you to develop symmetry and balance in your conditioning program. And certain manipulation techniques can be performed with the assistance of another person. And now Dennis has some final questions for Dr. Martin Sr. All right, we are back with Robert M. Martin Sr., MD. Dr. Martin, is anyone too young or too old to start in on this program? Really not. The younger we start, the better. However, the age should take advantage of it too because they have so many changes in their bodies that should be corrected as much as possible for the rest of their life that they can do. Now, what, would you, what kind of advice would you give to an older person who is afraid to exert themselves too much, fearing that it's going to cause them more harm than good? Well, for a time, they should be under an instructor that uh, has had experience in dealing with the aged people, and uh, therefore it is graded to their capabilities and possibilities. Is there any kind of exercise they should first start out on? Uh, as opposed, or is there, should they take things in a graduated pace? Yes, always to tolerance. One should never stress one to the disadvantage of the good physiological effects that you're trying to seek. And what about children? Obviously, uh, the inversion boots are not a toy. It's not something you just play around with. But should children start at a very young age? Yes, I think that parents should uh, hang their children every day upside down. They can do it in a game fashion, playing with the child, and turning them upside down and hanging them by their arms and hanging them by their feet and hanging them by one arm and one leg. Huh. Well, Dr. Martin, it's been fascinating talking with you. For those of you who would like additional information on the gravity guiding system, equipment and exercises, you can call this toll-free number. Call area code 800-423-3500. 96 or call collect in California area code 213 796 4005 and now in summary for those of you who have already suffered the pain and limitations of backache the gravity guiding system offers a program of therapy and rehabilitation designed to banish the pain and help return you to full activity. To others, it offers a program of overall physical fitness designed to give you a beautiful, flexible body that will prevent the onset of backaches in your lifetime, as well as maintaining a youthful appearance and a vital, lively lifestyle. The program's easy-to-use equipment and exercises lets you take a more active role in ensuring your health-related future. It's a sound, logical approach to back care that utilizes your body weight and gravity. No drugs, no medicines, no surgery or braces. It's a back-to-basics approach to back care. 
the gravity guiding system. Thanks for watching.